What's up everyone? Welcome back to Kabuto's Lab channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to add hand tracking to your VR project. No controls required. You'll be able to see your real hands, grab objects, and interact naturally inside VR. It's easier than you think, so let's jump right in. Step 1. Enable hand tracking. First, let me show hand tracking is actually turned on. In your hierarchy, select your camera rig. Then, in the inspector, scroll down until you find the OVR manager script. On the hand tracking support, make sure it's set to controllers and hands. If that's already set, you're good to go. Now, let's add the hand visuals. Go to Meta, Tools, Building Blocks. Search for hand tracking and just add it. You'll see two new elements appear, one for each hand. Each includes everything you need. Tracking scripts, skeletons, meshes, all wire up automatically. Basically, your hands are ready to go straight out of the box. That's the beauty of building blocks, no setup headaches. Time to see it in action. Once you are in VR, set your controllers down and boom! There are your hands. Try opening and closing your fingers, pointing or pitching. Everything should move naturally and smoothly. You also notice the auto switching feature. When you pick up your controller, your hands disappear. And when you set it down, your hands come right back. Seamless. Step 2. Add wrapping interactions. Alright. Let's make those hands actually do something. We're going to create a simple object you can grab. Let's use a cube. In your hierarchy, create a new cube and move it right in front of your camera. Resize it to something hand size. I think around 0.2 on all sides works great. With the cube selected, go up to Interaction SDK. Add graph interaction. A setup window will pop up. Just follow the same step we did back in P2. Once you're finished, your cube is now fully grabbable with your hands. So let's test it out. Once you are in VR, reach the word cube. When your hand gets close, pinch your thumb and index finger together. There is it. The cube snaps right into your hand. You can move it around, rotate it, or touch it by releasing the pinch while moving your hand. It feels super natural and incredibly satisfying. And that's it. You now have working hand tracking with crack interactions all done using meta building blocks. If this tutorial helped you out, go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe for more VR tutorials and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.